Everyone, Everyone has, has a Cordova, Cordova story, story, whether they, they like, like it or, it or not. not. He's underground, He's underground looming, looming, unseen, unseen in the corner of the dark. Dark. My Cordova tale began on a rainy October night, when I was just another man running in circles in Central Park, going nowhere as fast as I could. This is a Brooklyn Bridge bound 6 express train. The next stop is 59th Street. Cordova is an inscrutable figure who, even when staying silent and out of sight, still creates a storm. The body that was found on Thursday was identified by the chief medical examiner as that of Ashley Cordova, the daughter of the Academy Award winning American film director. Stanislaus Cordova. The cause, the cause of death of has death not as yet been determined. determined. The police are investigating reports that Miss Cordova, who reportedly had a history of depression, committed suicide by jumping into an out of service elevator shaft.
Hello? This is Scott McGrath, the reporter. It is? Who's this? I hear you're investigating Cordova. How'd you hear about that? Word gets around. Are you a friend of his? I don't want this call recorded. It's not. What's your name? Sean. What's your connection to Cordova? I drove him. You are a chauffeur? You could say that. Where? Upstate. He wanted me to pick him up in the middle of the night. 3 a.m. He asked me to come up slow to the mansion with my lights off. I had the feeling he didn't want to wake anyone. When I got there, he was waiting for me on the steps. Was he alone? Yes. He got into the car, back seat. Where did you take him? To an elementary school. He asked me to drive in the parking lot, turn off the engine, and wait. I watched him walk across the lane into the children's playground. At first, he was very still, and then he moved around the swings, pushing one so it swung out into the air, empty. Then he went around the seesaw, and then he went into the sandbox and sat down. He went into the sandbox? I couldn't see what he was doing, but it wasn't right. You understand. What was he doing? He was digging. When he came back to the car, he was hiding something in his coat. What was it? A child's gym uniform, tiny yellow shirt, blue shorts. It made me sick. I asked what he wanted with it. He only looked at me, hard from behind those glasses. Got out of the car next day. I heard my services were no longer needed, but I know for a fact he hired some there's something he does to those children. What? How? He, he hurts them? John? John? Oh.